It's not as low as the 750. Okay. The description of the distilled spirits gin class at the University of Kentucky says it's a hands-on focus course. And there's no doubt about that. In one of the class's last meetings, the students were modeling gin. Have these all been checked? Yeah. It was an assignment in the class where the students had to develop and produce a distilled alcoholic beverage to market. The students then picked one they liked best. Kimberly Lopez Torres, a senior food science major, had her gin chosen as the class favorite. She said her gin embodies the flavor of Kentucky. With my recipe, I decided to do something that was a little bit more traditional, um, and then also add some spices that are usually not found in gin to give it a Kentucky twist to it. The RD1 Distillery in Lexington, makers of the William Tarr brand, partnered with UK's James B. Beam Institute for Kentucky Spirits, so the students could come up with a spirit they could market. Each student produced a product and a vision, and then they went through and submitted the vision and the product to the entire class, and we did sensory on all of them, and then picked the one that we thought was the best. After Lopez Torres Gin was selected and produced, the students got the chance at the end of their class time on this day to fill the bottles, cap and seal them, and before boxing, make sure there were no imperfections with the bottle and its contents. It's, it's been really awesome to work with the students hands-on and try to figure out, okay, I see what your vision is, let's try to make it happen. That hands-on experience is so valuable to understanding, understanding the industry and understanding your passion. The gin class was offered for the first time this past school year as a distilled spirits course. Where hopefully we'll do this again. Everybody seems happy and excited. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin.